All right, guys, now here we are. I just picked up this computer and uh, well, quick specs are an i7 8086K, 16 gigs of RAM and well, basically an NVMe SSD, should have a hard drive in there and that's this 240 millimeters, only one cooler from Corsair and we're gonna just simply add this RTX 4060 Ti in there it's a trio model, it's my favorite model and do a quick replace, clean it up and it should be ready so let's get into it so first off we're simply cleaning it with the data vac while she's cleaning the GPU so let's get into it and beware headphones users Now we have to take off the panel, which I will do um, basically off camera. It's also a little bit scratched, which we will have to fix, but nothing major. Okay, so we've gotten ahead with a clean. We got a free Wi-Fi card. It's a very bad card, by the way. And uh, now look, they haven't peeled off the sticker, so it's our chance to peel it off. Here we are, brand new. I swapped out the RAM. I put some G Skill Trident Z stuff in here because it's better and it looks better. And then we went to take this NVMe SSD and basically the guy uh, had this thing wrapped around it what was on top of the paper, the thermal pad, so it was effectively working really bad plus this is a 3.0 drive so I don't understand the need for a heatsink but hey, we're gonna put it back and mount it back and then yeah, let's stay tuned Here we are repasting the CPU uh, It's an i7-86K limited edition So just gonna go ahead and quickly unscrew the cooler and then see how the thermal paste is doing as you can see we are outside because it's summer here in Italy we are enjoying a bit of sun but anyway let's see what's oh okay yep I'd say it definitely needed the repaste this paste is dry okay so with some alcohol wipes we're just taking all the old paste out I also put way too much which again it's not a problem I do it too but it's a pain to take out it's gonna take a lot of alcohol wipes Now, I was thinking we should probably delete this CPU because we're gonna get huge performance gains by deleting it. So I think it's better if we do it. Here we are with this limited edition i7-8086K and we're gonna delete it. So first of all, we're gonna take it out of the socket without bending any pins. And here is the CPU, as you can see. Now we're gonna move over to our vise right here. And well, it's just a matter of opening it up, which I should have done beforehand, but we're gonna just quickly do it now. Then you wanna Again, I have tutorial for this one on YouTube in case you want to, but you just need to align this guy here and the PCB itself on the other side. So, kind of like this. And then you want to align it exactly like this. Okay? And at this point, you just apply some force and it's gone. As you can see, the paste is very dry. Okay, so here we are with the i7-86K deleted and this time she's cleaning it so with the alcohol wipes we will first of all take out the paste and then we're gonna use this socket cover to take out the actual thermal glue then i will use some nail polish to isolate the pins um, and then i will use the liquid metal thermal glue to contour them out to actually um, act as thermal compound as you can see it's very clean now and yeah so i will show you once we've cleaned it up properly okay so now the first thing i will do and this is a bit of an older school thing because on older cpus they had actually smds but while here it's just some traces i'm gonna use some nail polish on those uh, joints no they're not really solder joints they're just little conductive points here so we'll just apply some over there so that if liquid metal goes there it's not gonna break and that's it okay so let's go with the actual liquid metal now it's very difficult to get out just enough. Ooh, that's a bit too much, but we're gonna make do with what we have and apply it properly. So you can tell this one is a bit old, but it's still gonna do the job. You gotta cover the whole surface because if even a little piece is not covered, it's gonna break your CPU. So you wanna be extra careful, not place too much. 
and then I will also show you how to place it on the IHS itself with the extra liquid metal. Fun fact, when the first time I, I actually used it, I ended up spilling it on like half the CPU and had to clean it. So if that happens, it's not the end of the world, but it's very annoying. It's fully covered, so it's now time to use the extra one to actually just place it over here, um, kind of as where the die would go. So now since we have isolated everything with the nail polish, we can actually just pretty much put it everywhere, just to be sure. If you haven't isolated it properly, you want to be extra careful while doing this. As you can see, I sprayed a bit outside, which isn't ideal, but it's not going to damage anything. So It's now time to place it back into the socket. You want to be very careful because a drop of this in the wrong place and everything is dead. So. Okay, so that's inside. Now you want to carefully apply on top this thing. So you also want to place it ever so slightly higher okay this should be all right and now it's time to actually close the socket and see if we've done anything wrong now it's perfect that's good nice now it's time to see if it works okay so let's actually go with the paste now and again we're gonna just place it randomly as i always do because it's the best way and then just slap the cooler on top of it nice and then screw it back in we're done let's go with the rtx 3060 ti in here i will have to rotate those to actually be properly going in there but we're pretty much done perfection all right guys so here we are with the finished build and let me pull up some performance figures for you now we're running heaven benchmark maxed out and as you can see this deleted cpu is overclocked to 5 gigahertz all core and like in game the temperatures are extremely low then we will test a bit of synthetic as well but the the gpu is undervolted so <laughs> It's also extremely low. Now, of course, the test just started, but basically it sits at around 55 degrees under volt. It's insane. Let me quickly test some synthetics for you while the, um, the actual benchmark is running, because this PC can do it all, actually. I'm really happy with the build. It's going to be for a friend of mine. I think he's going to be real happy. And look at it. Okay, let me quickly test one of these while the test is going. So. <laughs> We have heaven benchmark in the background, we have the temperature reading on the side, and we are testing the performance of the CPU, and it's still like going over 500 on the single core. <laughs> like this thing beats like some 11th gen stuff, it beats some of the newest Ryzen, it's really insane. And after all of this, the, the GPU still is at around 55 as I told you, and the CPU again peaked at 63 so let me know what you think about it guys and see you in the next one